Hey everybody, welcome to Jerry and Jamie 2 Up. I'm Jerry. And I'm Jamie. And we're here to talk about what happened in 2021 and what's going on in 2022. Yep. Uh, first of all, we hope you all had a great holiday. Uh, we finished off the year pretty well, except for we had COVID in the last week. <laughs> had, a, had a few hiccups, but... Um, but got to see the kids in Dallas for Christmas, which was nice. First time in three years we were all together. Yep, and family in New Mexico. So that worked out. Uh, that worked out really, really well. So we're just going to kind of go over the good, the bad, and the ugly of the last year, and kind of tell you what's going on for 2022. So. Yep. And if you watched us last year, this is our coffee and conversation. So, cheers. Cheers. Uh, it's the it's cold outside. It actually snowed today. <laughs> uh, so last week we were riding a motorcycle on yeah. Thursday, and today it's. 11 degrees outside or 12 degrees something like that yeah it is really cold so that's why we got the fire on this one here got to stay inside today i did but... get to stay on more 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 on that here in a little bit <laughs> um so without further ado we're going to kind of jump into things so right after the intro we'll come back <laughs> all right everybody welcome back hello <laughs> <laughs> um We'll talk about so motorcycle stuff for 2021. Kicked off the new year with the Ozark Escape in April. I yep. uh, had about 70 people sign up, but unfortunately... Mother Nature did not cooperate and it got cold and rainy. So we really only had about one good day of riding, but we had a lot of fun gathering. It was a lot of fun. 35 <laughs> bikes showed up, so that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we did get some riding in. We stayed at the Quality Inn in Eureka Springs, same place we're going to stay this year. Yep. Um, our friends from Dallas came down. We got a good day of riding with them, and then the rest of the time was kind of yucky. But Eureka Springs is a fun town to hang out in, so that yep. was kind of fun. And we met some new friends. We did meet some new friends, so that was really cool. So again, thanks for everybody that supported that. I am going to glance around at my paperwork from time to time just so we can remember what's going on. Uh, we attended our first national uh, MSTA rally in West Virginia. Yep. That place is beautiful. John Denver had it right. <clears throat> I it. It was just spectacular. It was amazing. I mean, I can't believe how beautiful it was. We spent the entire week out there. Yeah. So we did the rally three or four days, something like that. And then we camped at uh, Blackwater State Falls in mm -hmm. West Virginia, which was amazing. The camping, probably the best camping we had all year. Yeah. For yeah. sight and everything. <laughs> uh, we got to go to Harper's Ferry and we went to Antietam. Got to meet Mario from Two Wheel Riders while we were hanging out. So thanks, Mario, for spending some time with us. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Then uh, we purchased a new motorcycle. Yep. I got myself my license. I took the course, um, banged myself up. It was a it was a rough go. Um, after the first, uh, well, first day was in the classroom, no big deal. Second day was actually on the bikes, and by about midday, I had dropped the bike so many times I just got ahead of myself and I was pretty frustrated um she but called I'll... me the first sorry I didn't mean to no, interrupt, it's okay. but I call, uh, she called me the first day and uh was almost in tears and she said she was glad she spent three hundred dollars to learn to throw a motorcycle on the ground but I got it back together that afternoon and if any of you know me I am you know I'm not a quitter, and if anything, it challenges me more to accomplish something. So I definitely pulled up my big girl pants and got back on the bike that afternoon and didn't have any more drops. Went back the next day. I was super sore, super tired. Um, I had I was black and blue. It looked like I had been taken out back and beaten up, um, but the the experience was a good one and i definitely learned some things about the bike and being a rider that i had taken for granted and so i look forward to riding i did not um i overthought myself and i dropped the bike in the test so of course i didn't pass but i went back three weeks later and I did pass. So I got my license and I have ridden a couple of times in a local parking lot, um, but then it got super hot and with all of that gear on, it just was not feasible. And then school happened, life happened, got too cold and here we are. <laughs> She'll jump back on it here in the spring. Yeah. Uh, really, it was kind of strange. She took the 
class on 500 cc motorcycle harleys huge uh, 150 pounds more than her little z400 mm -hmm. so um i think she'll be fine and uh, she loves her motorcycle. So I we do. Got a, got a I, good deal on it. So. I really look forward to it. So, yep, got me a little Z400. So, speaking of the Z400, uh, I attended the Big Lynn rally for the first time in North Carolina, uh, Dave's rally for the MSTA. And man, what a great time. And I met Bob Burdett. We took, we trailered our bikes. And so I thought it was a great opportunity to take the 400. And I rode the 400 for three days. And man, it was amazing. I have not had that much fun on a motorcycle in a long, long time. So I decided I'd buy me a smaller bike and we got a 390 KTM that I'm going to use for dual sport and that sort of thing. So you'll be seeing more videos about that and everything as well. That was a fun story though because <coughs> we were just at a local watering hole one evening and a friend of ours from Dallas sent a message through Facebook that they had seen this bike in Kansas and so for the first time ever we bought a bike unseen. Uh, via text and we got to go to Kansas and pick it up and when we were there got to see some cousins Yeah, it was fun and uh, first time I've ever bought a motorcycle from a bar. So <laughs> that was kind of cool uh, After that uh, we went to the hill country spent Thanksgiving week. Yep. We had my first Black Friday off in 13 years. So we yeah. spent the week in uh, Kerrville at the KOA and did mm -hmm. some base camping. Yeehaw Steven came up Becky and Jeff came up uh, man, just had a good, good week. Uh, it was fantastic. And the had riding was great, too. Got a little cold there for a little while, but the riding was great. So. Yeah, but let me tell you, if you're camping, get an electric blanket. It makes the difference. Yes, we glamp, folks. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, we're not going to... Hey, not we're gonna, not shy about that. Yeah, we're not, we're not regretting that at all. <laughs> Off-road-wise, we did do a lot of stuff in the Jeep. We did a lot of camping. Mm -hmm. We've really uh, come to enjoy that kind of stuff, and so we'll yeah. be doing a lot more of that um, in 2022. We attended the Moore Expo last year in February, and it was cold. Snowy that snowy. day. Snowy. Oh, it was awful. And that was actually the beginning of the snowmageddon that came through, and we had a week off of school after that. I got it was to, crazy. Uh, I got to meet my man crush, uh, Brad from Trail Recon. Uh, so <laughs> that was all cool and got to see some friends and everything. So that was, that was really cool. Uh, after that, we went to the Big Iron Rally in West Mineral, Kansas. And there's nothing out there but Big Iron. Big Brutus. That's all that's big out Brutus. there. Big Brutus. Yep. Uh, I'll put a picture of the big crane. So you camp next to this crane and they had bands and it rained there too. It did. But um, that was where we first heard Arkansas. Yeah. So that was that was awesome. And we'll be back to that as well. That was yeah. very unique. That was kind of cool. We did the Rendezvous in the Ozarks, which we made a video about and that sort of thing. We love that rally. Mm -hmm. Natural State Overland does a great job putting on that rally. Uh, really enjoyed our self. They're going to a new place this year, mm -hmm. Mulberry. Mulberry I'll put Campground. the link down in the description. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I may do Bonfire, which is in April. Uh, just depends on how cold it is, whether Jamie will camp or not. Oh, because they moved it. It's not on the. It's not on our weekend. Right. So uh, so we'll be we'll be looking at that. Uh, Mark Driscoll and I did the did a Moab trip. Did the Rim Rocker Trail, White Rim Trail in Utah. Man, it was just amazing, uh, beautiful. Jamie didn't get to go. I didn't get to go, but that was the one that you said the KOA there was the most spectacular one you've ever seen. Folks, we love base camping. Like I like to go <laughs> and set up camp and then kind of do things out of there. And Moab in September is packed and no campsites were available on the rim. Uh, we wanted to stay on White Rim Trail. No, no campsites were available. So we did the Moab thing, I mean, we did the KOA thing and uh, we weren't disappointed. That was, it was a beautiful campground and we really enjoyed ourselves. Um, this year, and then we, you know, like I said, we did a couple, two or three camping trips, which was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. And we'll do more of that and we'll uh, tell you how we're gonna do more of that later. <laughs> um, so really 2021 was, it was a pretty good year. Everybody's trying to get back from the big C, but. Yeah, and we caught the big C. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> After we came back from the hill country, we both got COVID. We were both yep. vaccinated. Again, no politics here, whatever y'all want to do. That's for, but no politics here. But yeah. we were both vaccinated and we still got it. Kicked Jamie's butt a little bit more than mine. Uh, but uh, knocked us both out for about eight, nine days. But once we're, you know, we're through with it now and we're moving on. Uh, had a great time in 2021. Got to spend mm -hmm. time with the kids for the holidays, family for the holidays. And we met a lot of new friends. 
And uh, so on a scale of one to 10, what do you think? I would have to definitely say it's a nine and a half to 10. So it was a good, good year. And, uh, and what's cool is if she thinks that was a good, if she thinks nine and a half was good for 2021, stay tuned for 2022. We got a lot of things going on and uh, some pretty cool stuff that could happen here as long as uh, knock on wood, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I think the biggest thing, change that we had was me leaving my job at Home Depot. Yep. Big um, life change. 13 years at Home Depot. I'm not going to get into it. It was just time to leave. Uh, I will say the last couple of years with the pandemic made people crazy, uh, treating people nuts. It just got to the point where emotional well-being was not well and it was it just wasn't fun going to work anymore. So we decided that it was time for a change. But because of COVID and the way things have been so crazy, you know, Home Depot never shut down all of the DIYers and everything like that. And um, it made it feasible for him to be able to quit and move into this new venture. Yeah, financially, it was like working four years for two years. So I, I, I will always be thankful for that. So um, I'll never say anything bad about the Home Depot. No. I love the orange. They took care of my family when we needed them to. And they take care of their people. And they do take care of their people. Mm -hmm. So uh, you'll never hear me say anything bad about the orange. Nope. Um, so 2022, we got a lot of things going on. The first thing we got going on is our MSTA Ozark Escape Rally. Mm -hmm. April 22nd through the 24th. We moved it back a week because of Easter. So that hopefully should... we'll have warmer weather. So hopefully the weather's a little nicer and things like that. Uh, same kind of routine, except for there is a big thing going on this year. Jamie's going to actually cook for us on Friday night. We're going to have a cookout. So we're going to have hamburgers and drinks. So there's going to be a $10 charge just to cover the price of food. But we'll have a big cookout in the middle of the parking lot. So that should be a lot of fun. Saturday night will be everybody on their own. There's tons of places to go in Eureka Springs. So but we're going to we're going to put together lots of different opportunities and places for people to go. Yeah, we'll have uh, We'll have street guided street rides and dual sport rides. So thanks to Dustin and Kate, they're going to be leading some of the dual sport stuff. So we'll have dual sport and street rides. I'll be leading the street rides. So stay tuned for more information on that. Sign up as quickly as you can. If you go to modaladrenalinetours.com, click on the Ozark Escape tab and uh, you can sign up and everything there. There is no cost for the, for the rally. So if you don't want to eat hamburgers and you don't want to buy a shirt, it doesn't cost you anything, but just get into the rally. So just come and have fun. We're just looking forward to seeing everybody. Again, kind of mentioned the 13 years of leaving Home Depot. So yep. we've got a couple things that are really exciting going on for 2022. Uh, MotoAdrenalineTours.com. We've kind of been dabbling in it for eight, nine, ten years. <laughs> we've been building up basically our... A portfolio of trips through exactly. all of our adventures and everything that we've done and so now we get to put that out and share it with you so uh, like I said if you get a chance go check out motoadrenalinetours.com you'll see all the events that we have planned we're gonna have a bunch of Arkansas weekenders that I think are gonna be a big big hit we're gonna do some camping on the bikes do some dual sport riding uh, just really looking forward to that so go check that out uh, also doing a little side thing with manage mayhem blog uh, doing some consulting for time management, productivity, all that nerdy kind of stuff that I really love. Uh, so I'll be doing uh, I'll be doing a little bit of that. Uh, with that being said, we're going to be doing a podcast for that. There's a couple out already, so I'll put the link down in the description as well. Um, we're going to get better. Uh, podcasting's tough when you do it solo, so I'm learning. Uh, we got some better equipment, <laughs> so the sound will be better. It's much easier to have a conversation than it is talking to yourself. So I don't know. You do it all the time. I know. Stay tuned for that. Um, oh, we've got um, some new logos. Yes. So thank you, Chris Parker, yes. for hooking us up with logos. Yep. Jerry and Jamie, two up, which is, is one our of them. YouTube and our podcast. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Moto Adrenaline Tours new logo, which is for the business. And then we have a new Ozark Escape logo, which Chris did last year. The only thing updated on that are the dates and everything. Uh, speaking of logos, we have a new merchandise company. Yep. So we want to thank uh, Long Creek Overland. They have become our merchandising partner. They do a lot of stuff for a lot of YouTube. Overlanders. Yeah, I hate to use the word influencer, but a lot of Overland people and a bunch of YouTube people. Mm -hmm. um, but you can go check on that. I'll put the link down there. Uh, multiple varieties of colors and sizes, and uh, we get to support somebody locally. So yeah. really looking forward to that. 
a video each week, mm -hmm. and it'll probably be a, a multi-video like this. And we're also going to be doing a podcast from time to time. We're going to have some guests, so stay tuned for that. That'll be kind of cool. We've been asked a couple of times to uh, how we how people could support us, and so we jumped into the Patreon pool. So uh, I'll put that link down below as well. So again, if you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a way of helping us financially with certain, there's different levels and tiers and you can help us out by as low as $5 a month, uh, which all the support would be helpful. But again, not we, expected. we're not expecting anything, right folks? We, we, we understand how life is. If you can do it and you wanna help out, there's a venture to do that. There's a way to do it. Uh, but again, don't feel obligated. The biggest thing that we really appreciate is you watching the videos. We have 550 subscribers now. Whoop, whoop. Uh, and now I think that we'll be able to consistently make content and I'll be able to consistently put at least one video out a week. I'm thinking that we're gonna probably grow that pretty quickly. And mm -hmm. so stay tuned for all that cool information and everything. So again, the Patreon link will be down below as well. I think that's about it, huh? I think that's it. But as always, if you like these videos and you want to continue to watch them, please make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe so that you know that when, sorry, subscribe so you know when we post videos and pass this along to your friends. And again, uh, just thank you all for your support over the last year. Thanks Absolutely. to all, all of our friends. We have some amazing friends and probably. Any, any suggestions you have to make us better, we wanna hear them. And if you have any questions about what we're doing, let us know, we'd love to answer them. So hopefully we've spent some money. So this is the first time we've done a video using a real camera. So we've got a, <laughs> can, a Canon M50 that we're filming with. We've got, we're actually got a podcast system that we're doing the video with, I mean the audio with, so hopefully the audio is good. And I'll tell you a quick secret. We did this all about an hour ago, and Jerry didn't hit record on the podcast system. So we're redoing it again. <laughs> that was just practice. It was just practice. So again, everybody, remember, adventure is better together. Take it easy, everybody. Ride safe. Bye. Okay, cool. <laughs>